All right, hey, how's it, guys? So it's Sergio. All right, I don't have Harley in today's video, um, and the reason why is because I'm gonna discuss a couple things. All right, I've seen a couple posts and various dog groups that I've been in. These are questions that I've received, um, you know, on YouTube, different social media sites, Instagram, or whatever. There's my plug, real quick. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. All right, I'll put it down there in the comments what my Instagram handle is or whatever. Um, and so the things I'm going to talk about today, all right, is what makes a good service dog, basic, uh, service dog etiquette or slash rules. And then, uh, why don't we let people, uh, pet our service animals? Okay. And I'm going to kind of try and stay structured. So I got my computer over here and, you know, but once again, just the way I am, you know, it's probably going to get kind of all over the place but I have my notes just to make sure that I stay on task as much as possible or stay on subject right okay so real quick guys um, the way this prompted me today and I, I did my, my little rant on my um, on my Facebook page and then I heard it and then I ended up deleting it um, so here's the scenario right we had a guy Posting a group saying, "Hey, I just got a service dog. It's a pit bull. Um, you know, it's a psychiatric service dog. Really excited about it. Um, a friend came over, and you know, well, first off, the dog's been great with my kids. Been great with uh, the other dogs, the actual pets in the house. Um, friend comes over. Friend goes over to." give the dog kisses or some, some sort of affection and the dog kind of um, lunges at them, I think, or maybe nips at them. I'm not sure on that. Remember, I'm paraphrasing here, guys. Okay, so if this video is about you and you're going to know it is, all right, all right, and I paraphrase, please be understanding. If you feel the need to correct me because I didn't quote correctly or paraphrase correctly, please feel free to do so in the comments. Okay, um, so before I get into um, things that went really well in that particular scenario and things that maybe could be improved upon, I wanted to talk about um, what characteristics make a good service dog. And the reason why is because the responses he got, some of them said, well, pit bulls should never be service dogs. And I'm like, hmm, really? All right? Tell me more. Right, um, and they're like, "Oh, they shouldn't be service dogs because they're they're banned in certain um, cities." Mm, okay, cool. Doesn't really matter, but I mean, whatever. And then um, another response was, "Well, people think pit bulls are intimidating." Like, sweet. All right, I'm gonna make life decisions based off of someone else's opinion. Awesome. Okay. So anyway, so that's kind of what got me going and made me do my rant on uh, my other social media. And then I ended up taking it down because I was, you know, emotionally charged, maybe. I don't know. Um, but at the same time, and, and this isn't uh, kind of like a, an excuse, but just for y'all's essay, my medication has been kind of changed up, right? Switched to new medication. So things that maybe I don't think or... I would not normally think to be as serious or offensive or whatever. You know, I'm working through some of that stuff right now. Okay, so uh, please be mindful. Either way, though, I do understand I'm responsible for the words that come out of my mouth. So if you think I'm wrong or whatever the case may be, either don't watch my videos. Um, feel free to tell me. Um, and I've said um like 17 times. I wonder if someone wants to count how many times I said um and put it in the comments, that'd be sweet too. Either way, all right, so I'm going to move on. All right, so the traits that make a good service dog, okay? Let's see. Oh. Uh oh, I just thought about that, that guy from Family Guy when he goes, oh, no. All right, because I just. Yeah, because I, uh, 
I apparently closed out the, the page I was looking at. Um, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I'm just freaking... I don't know. Once again, I kind of get all over the place. All right. Let me open up this page one more time, and everything's going to be good, guys. Thanks for your patience. Um, if you have a service dog, I'd love to hear about you and your service dog. Um, so. And, you know, a lot of this information, okay, I just got with this from this amazing source, Google. All right, you may have heard of it. Um, all right, I'm full of bad jokes, so just keep that in mind, all right? So, real quick, all right, intelligence, all right? Obviously, you want your dog to be intelligent or the service animal would be intelligent. Uh, you want it to have a calm temperament, okay? Um, you know, you need to ensure that, oh, man, that's weird. That's weird. Sorry. Uh, something just popped up. But, you know, should be energetic. Here, let me make sure this doesn't open up here. Okay. And its overall demeanor should be, you know, I guess you could say, I mean, calm. I guess I already said that a couple of times. All right, so either way, right, um, service dogs, intelligent, good demeanor, okay, um, they should also uh, be friendly to a certain point, right, and we'll get into that, and really I think that, you know, pit bulls, right, because that's specifically the breed that we were talking about in this, they meet all those requirements, right, they're super energetic, uh, they're fun to be around. They want to learn. Um, they bond. That's another important um, trait is that, you know, that they bond really well with their handler. And I think pit bulls meet that characteristic. I mean, that's why, like, pit bulls are one of the main um, types of animals that you use in various sporting or dog sporting events, right? Because they are intelligent, right? They can't be taught. Um, they do bond with their handlers, okay? They're energetic, all right? And they do have a calm demeanor, all right? I know that they've got a bad rap and they're on certain cities, uh, like uh, breed restrictions and things like that, but overall, I think they're wonderful. I have a, uh, an American pit bull that is a pet, okay? Her name is Ellie, and she's so eager to please, has such a beautiful smile. You've seen her in maybe one of my videos. I mean... Absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful animal, okay? Now, what I'm going to get into next is, let me see what's this say right here. All right, I got my little notes. Ah, so I looked up, like, the list, right? I was like, all right, so what animals make the list, right? If there is uh, a list of animals that, you know, mainly um, are used for service animals, right? Oh, and I just found this, okay? And I'll share this site down there because I am using their information, all right? And I learned a, a lot from the site, and I do think it's valid, all right? So they they say that they require intelligence, friendly disposition, calm demeanor, strong work drive. Yeah, that makes sense. Tidiness and tendency to bond strongly. So once again, um, they said it probably a little bit more eloquently than I did, but... Same thing. And what this particular list has, right, um, they have Labrador Retrievers listed, Golden Retrievers, German Shepherds, all right? I'm a little partial because of, um, or partisan, or, I don't know, all right? Anyways, um, I was going to say bipartial, but that's not, that's not a thing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, freaking... Because of Harley, right? I, I love German Shepherds. Poodles, yep. They're, and they're super smart. Boxers, okay? They got that weird little chin thing going on, but okay. Um, or cheek thing. Great Danes. I just have a miniature horse if you're going to have a Great Dane. 
All right, Border Collies, yep. Yeah. Pomeranians, hmm. All right, uh, Bernice Mountain Dogs, yep, see that? And number 10 on their list, Pit Bulls and their American Staffordshire Terrier Cousins. Often an excellent service dog, although you'll have to be prepared to deal with negative, though mistaken, perception of the breed. Wow. Hmm. Like I said, check out their site. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it down there. So the reality is, is this, is that, you know, and then also on the uh, in that particular post, they put down that, like, um, German Shepherds were, were primarily um, protection dogs. I'm just interested in where like their information comes from, right? Like, I don't know. Anyways, so that's the thing, right? Uh, uh, basic service dog rules. So once again, this is all like stuff that y'all could find. Um, you know, one we'll talk about rules for your dog, all right? And then we should talk about from there transition into rules for etiquette from other people with the handler and the dog, all right? So your service dog, okay? So guys, don't fake your service dog, all right? If that like either your service dog is service dog or it's a pet. Like a working dog is a working dog, right? That's why when people ask me, I say I have one service dog and three pets, okay? Because that's the reality of it. Now, does that mean that I don't play with Harley, that I don't goof off with her and things like that? Absolutely not. I, Of course I do. But the key thing is there, I do. Me. All right? Um, I limit a lot of the interaction that other people have with her. Okay, Harley knows that if she has her vest on, that there is certain behavior that is acceptable and not acceptable, right? Um, so the, I saw a list on another site here. All right, um, talks about you know make sure that the your service dog doesn't go around like sniffing everybody. Um, definitely should not be vocal with people or animals, right? So they should be focused on you. All right. Now our service animals. Um, Robots, no, they're not. So are they going to do some of these things? Sure, right? But you can tell the difference between a pet and a service animal, okay? Um, they shouldn't be jumping on people. Um, uh, they shouldn't be overexcited or have ha hyperactive behavior when they're working, okay? And they should know where to go potty and where not to, okay? Um, so those are basic things. Uh Ensure, man, I keep saying that. Um, make sure that you know your your service animal also has an actual job, and they understand what their job is. Okay, and you practice it, right? It's just a side note. Now, as far as people's etiquette with um, a handler and their service dog, right? So the team, right? Um, people shouldn't be touching your dog. They shouldn't be feeding it. They shouldn't be distracting it. They shouldn't be going, mm -hmm, you know, all this freaking stuff. I'll give you an example. So I take my service dog, obviously, Harley with me everywhere, right? I go to jujitsu, right? And I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm doing my thing. And, you know, there was a guy there. Um, didn't know that she was a service dog, I guess. I mean, I don't know how you, you wouldn't. I mean, she like sits still and she responds and does everything she's supposed to. She's very attentive to me. Um, but he was like, mm, like making all these noises, trying to get her attention. Harley did look over. I said, no. Right. And so to be honest with you, I said no for the benefit of the guy, not necessarily Harley. Right. And so Harley's like, looks over and then kind of just looks back and he's like, oh, you know, so, sorry. And I was like, yeah, I was like, she's a service animal. You know, um, she's working. So it's just a lot of times people don't know. Um, service animals shouldn't be treated like pets. All right. If you see a team together, don't talk to the dog, talk to the handler. Okay. The handler speaks English. No big deal. Or Spanish or French or whatever language that is, I guess, uh, the national language or the native language. I don't know. What the correct term where that is. Uh, don't allow people to give your service dog commands. Okay? 
So once again, you know, I, I take Harley with me everywhere. The guy that I work with, um, I spend probably 13 hours a day with him. He's not going to be giving Harley commands. It just ain't going to happen. I don't care how long we spend together, right? It's not the way it works. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ask your pe friends not to give or try to feed your uh, service animal, right? You shouldn't be doing that. Um, yeah. So that's uh, okay. So now I'm going to transition to like what breeds can be used for a service dog, right? So, all right, and this is from the ADA website. Can service animals be any breed of dog? Yes. Yes. I can't say that loud enough. Yes. Okay. The ADA does not restrict the type of breed, dog breeds that can be service animals. Okay. Now, the next question that was in that original post, right? All right. If a municipality has an ordinance that bans certain dog breeds, does that ban apply to service animals? The simple answer is no, it doesn't. All right. It just it doesn't. Like, that's like the point of it. So that doesn't mean that your service animal is just like good to go either, though, right? If you have a service animal, regardless of the breed, right, if it poses a threat to the public, then obviously you're not going to be able to have it. But that's no different. I mean, I, we talked about um, Pomeranians, right? One of, that was on the list that I read off earlier. So I have Pomeranian. All right, and say that guy's like, I don't know, uh, maybe he, I dropped my pre-workout on the floor or it was dark and I accidentally put pre-workout instead of one of his like immune powders in his dog food and he's like all hyped up and he's like, rah, rah, right? And he goes and starts like barking and like going crazy. Like, sure, like they can like ban him, right? That's no different. But I'll go ahead and read this, okay? Um, it says municipalities that prohibit specific breeds of dogs Let's make an exception for a service animal, a prohibited breed, unless the dog poses a direct threat to the health or safety of others under the direct threat. And I did that because there's actual quotations. All right. Provisions of the ADA, local jurisdictions need to determine on a case by case basis whether a particular service animal can be excluded based on that particular animal's actual behavior or history but they may not exclude a service animal because of fears of generalization about how an animal or breed might behave. All right. Okay, I get it. Everyone like got scared of like pit bulls for, I don't know, maybe it happened with the whole Michael Vick era or something like that. Um, but bottom line is the ADA says, all right, it's unlawful for anyone to, to do that. So now you know. Okay. Um, and I kind of hinted through this throughout this uh, video. Now I'm going to talk about kind of some of the rules that I apply to Harley and myself as a team. Okay. Not everyone gets to pet Harley. Like, and the reason why is because if I allow everyone to pet my service animal, then everywhere we go, she's going to be looking for affection and attention from everyone. Okay, she's 13 months old. She's a puppy. Like her freaking paws, okay, are like huge and her rest of her body's kind of small. She has those cute big old ears. She's obviously hasn't grown into her her, uh, her feet and her ears, okay? she's So once again, not gonna happen, okay? And I've told people, some people have tried to pet Harley without even talking to me, right? That's one of the things that we discussed with the etiquette. And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, she's fine. And I'll be like, oh, I wasn't talking to her. I was, I was talking to you, big man. You know, like, I don't know what to tell you. You know, they kind of look at me weird. You know, um, so that's it. And really, I'm, I'm strict with her. She understands the difference when I when I have her vest on her. And when I don't, and we, we've done that purposefully, you know, and um, Nate did a wonderful job of training her up for me. Um, 
And if I do say so myself, he did a wonderful job training me to uh, train dogs. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm not. Well, I'm not kidding about him training me to train dogs or something like that. Okay, now I'm going to touch on something else, right? And I'm trying to stay away from um, ranting too much. But a common question I receive is, oh, what kind of service dog is she? So that is one of the questions um, that I that uh, organization can't ask, right? And I, I tell people and I respond, uh, you know, that she is a medical alert and psychiatric service dog, okay? And then they're like, oh, cool. Um, but like, what, what kind of medical alert or psychiatric service dog, you know? And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. I was like, well, um, tomorrow, if you'll bring me your, your medical record, um, we can talk about it then. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, you know, you bring your medical record so I can peruse through it. And, you know, we'll talk about the specifics of, you know, why, you know, I have a, um, a service animal. And they're like, oh, I'm like, you know, they finally get it. I'm like, yeah, you see, like, you you wouldn't just allow me to, like, peruse through your, like, medical records. Like, I'm not going to provide you details on um, why I have a service animal. Okay? Uh, but anyways, that's kind of a side note. But it's definitely something that we face. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and read off, like, the some of the websites that I use right here. Okay? Um, cause I don't know cause I want to. All right. So ADA.gov, you may have heard of it. All right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oh yeah. uh, and then the characteristics of a service dog, uh, where is that? Oh, 10 best service, uh, 10 best breeds for service dogs. Right. And the website is canineofmine.com slash best breeds for service dogs. I'm sure if you Google that, it'll pop up. I'm not going to tell you all the spaces and all that crazy stuff. And that's, uh, and it says it's a 12 minute read. Um, it's by Ben team. I have no idea who that is. And it was posted on April 9th, 2020. All right. Yeah. So those are the sites that I used for my information. All right, go check them out. Um, I will be doing a video this upcoming week. I'll do one with Harley. I'll do one with Ellie. That's my uh, American Pit Bull. I'll do one with Kendo or Kenny, all right, or K-Dizzle, K-Dog. What else do we call them? K-Pop. I don't like the whole K-Pop thing, but whatever. Did we say Kenny? I said Kenny. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing one with him. And I'd love to do one with Shogun or Shogi or Shogi the Bear. Um, but he's my uh, Cocker Spaniel that recently went blind. So if you know a great um, eye doctor for dogs, please let me know. Put it in the comments. All right. He's 11 years old, American Cocker Spaniel. He's purebred. Um, he's awesome. And he kind of like runs the show here. Um yeah, guys, that's about it. I know this was a long video, but I do think it's worth watching, and I do think it's worth you sharing with your friends that have service animals or around people that have service animals. And once again, I'm dying to hear all right, your thoughts and opinions on what I've talked about, okay? Uh, and if I'm incorrect on something that I said, all right, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. But once again... You know, saying, well, I think you're wrong because, you know, it's just this, this, and this. Well, that's cool and all, but this whole video, I'm either providing facts or I'm providing you my opinion, and you're watching the video because you subscribed to my channel and because you wanted to hear my opinion and my facts. So I do appreciate y'all's opinions, but... And if you still disagree with me about a pit bull being a viable service animal, that's cool. All right. But why are you hating on them? All right. Um, all right, guys. 
All right, Harley, Ellie, and Kendo, and maybe even Shogun, all right, we'll all be on later this week. All right, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification key. All right, hopefully you'll put lots of comments, and I will respond to your comments. And I love y'all, and what else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, oh. No, yeah, that's it. All right. Later.